Here are some random facts about me that you probably didn't know. When I was in grade 7, my best friend and I were obsessed, literally obsessed with Stranger Things. But we were even more obsessed with Finn Wolfhard. So we had a fan account for him on Instagram with like 4,000 followers. We even went to his concert because he used to be in a band. My big three are Sagittarius, Gemini, and then Sagittarius again, so I'm like a double Sag. I found out recently that apparently some of y'all think I live in a mansion. I have no idea where that came from concerning the fact that I've never shown my house before, but guys, I live in a townhouse. We've lived in a townhouse basically my whole life. The only time I've lived in like a house house was when we were renting out a basement when we first moved to Canada. But then again, that doesn't really count. I'm 18 years old and I'm in my first year of university right now. I have two older sisters, so I am the youngest in the family. My lips are real. A lot of you guys ask if I have filler. Fun fact, I used to want to get surgery to get my lips reduced. I've lived in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Canada, and hopefully the States soon. So I can speak both English, Chinese, and a little bit of Canto, like the most mediocre. Oh, and like a little bit of French, like the most basic amount of french that you could know i can speak because we learned that in high school i can play the piano the violin the clarinet and the guitar i'm not like a pro at all of this but i'm pretty good i've played lacrosse when i was in grade six or seven i've always wanted to figure skate but it was too expensive so when i was 16 i saved up my money to buy my own pair of skates and then I taught myself how to figure skate until I could do some private lessons. I had to quit like two years later because I graduated high school and then I just got too busy. My celebrity crushes are like Theo James and Neymar Jr. But my type of guys are like Golden Retriever. So I don't really know how that works, but this is the most satisfying part of doing your makeup. In 2020, I had the biggest fucking book phase. All I would do is read. This was also like prime COVID, so I had nothing to do, but it was so much fun. I read, I think, up to like 50 books. So let me know if you guys want suggestions. I'd be so down to make a video on it, but I just don't know if you guys would be interested. My life changed in 2023. I was given so many amazing opportunities, and I got to meet like the best people ever, and I'm forever grateful and thankful for that. It's just crazy to think how much can change in just one year. Bye, guys. Get ready with me for the 123rd day of school. School is getting harder and harder each day and it's starting to feel more optional each day. I should say getting to school is getting harder each day, not the work itself, just actually getting the motivation to go. And I know I didn't go for like a week, but still, like my alarm doesn't even move me. I have it as lady killers right now and it wakes me up. It's just that I just kind of lay there whenever it plays. I was wondering why I was the only person awake in my house for a second. It's my parents' 20th anniversary. So I'm pretty sure they both took the day off. It must be nice. I feel like one of the few things that Catholic school has spoiled me with is the amount of breaks we got. Like my public school now does not care about Easter. We only have Friday off and Monday off. I don't think I've met another senior yet that isn't already checked out and done. Like I mentioned this on my spam. If you follow, you follow. If you don't, you wouldn't know. But I got into my dream school, which I'm very happy about. But a lot of people are in the same boat as me. Like they already got into the school that they wanted to go to. Or they didn't, but they found another school and they committed already. And at this point, we're all just done. The only class that I really cannot stand is first period English. And of course, that's the one class that I actually need four years of in order to graduate. Not much to talk about today, but we are done. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. I graduate in seven weeks. Where is time going? I only have a few classes left, and then it's bye-bye. Light little makeup look to look alive, but nothing crazy because my skin is still screaming. Uh. Class starts at 6 p.m., which is so annoying. That's literally dinner time. Last semester, you're required to have, like, an internship and then do this giant semester-long project. You have to implement process improvement for an existing organization in the real world. People ask me, like, oh, are you going to get your PhD? And I'm like... Are you nuts? I am so freaking done with school. I never want to touch a textbook or canvas again in my life. I have no idea what it's going to feel like to enter the real world. I can't wait, but I'm also kind of scared. I said it once. I said it a thousand times. I am still so grateful that I turned down Columbia. Ended up just staying at Rutgers. Best decision I ever made. Looking back now, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have it any other way. This is your sign. If you're thinking about saving money and living at home, do it, okay? Life update. I do have some really exciting trips coming up that I can't wait to tell you guys about. I'm still moving to Miami and remember how I wanted to move in the fall? 
well, your girl is probably moving in the summer, which was unexpected and really not in the cards. But you know what? It's really about the unit and the unit I love is available in the summer. So if that just cracked, I'm going to be really sad. Moment of truth. I'm going to need your guys' help. I have no clue how to furnish or decorate. Okay. Like I have an overall idea and vibe that I want, but no clue where to actually get anything. You know, my interior decorators, I need your help. For example, I would love a nice solid white couch like the cloud you know what i mean but i don't know where to get that so let me know definitely add me on snap and insta because i'm gonna be posting a lot of behind the scenes and updates of everything that i'm doing literally from now until the moment i graduate why is finding a graduation dress literally impossible every single dress i like on every website to ever exist is either sold out or on pre-order what do i do i will be sobbing at graduation every graduation i've ever had i bawled my eyes out we got a lot to look forward to, but a lot to get done. So, I love you guys. Bye. Hey loves, get ready for me for school. Okay, so I am so sorry. I've just been filming, you know, school videos. Although, I know a lot of you guys like these. I know that a lot of you guys also want to see other content as well. But I do have my mocks next week. I have my mocks next week. And I've just been crazy revising. I just haven't really had time to make videos apart from when I'm, you know, getting ready for school. I do have some videos in my drafts which I'm planning to post. So do not worry. I will go back to my normal content. But also, I would like to know what you guys would like to see as it's getting colder. Maybe like warm outfit videos. Some people still want to see videos from my birthday. And I have like all the videos and all the clips saved. Which I can make so much content out of. And I was wondering if you guys still wanted to see more of that i mean i have like a whole youtube video in the making that i just haven't had time to complete yet so let me know if you guys do want me to finish it and i also want to do like a official video i want to make like an official video with everything it's gonna be a little bit long i'm wondering if you guys want me to post it here on tiktok as well oh and you know what else i filmed i also filmed a like birthday haul like what i got for my birthday but it ended up being like super super long because people asked for a birthday haul but then i never really got around to editing it because it, you have to make it like a lot shorter because i just i talk too much <laughs> i don't know if people still want to see what i got for my birthday but if you do just let me know and i will make it for you guys i'm so excited for winter i just feel like i do more in the winter than i do in the summer which is really ironic i just feel like i go out more in the winter i don't know there's just more stuff to do during like, christmas time i want to buy some more winter clothes I can also do like a winter clothes outfit inspired. I just have so many video ideas um, and once I do finish these tests, which I'm super nervous for, I will start making them for you guys. But anyways, let's talk about my test. I have English literature at 9 in the morning on Monday and I'm going to be honest, I haven't really revised for that. I do need to revise some quotes, but I will probably over the weekend. It'll have to be over the weekend. I mean, I don't really have any other time. I did a lot of chemistry revision over the half term. I did a lot. And then I also did some maths past papers. But I'm sorry scared for maths i'm honestly so scared for maths because i feel like my school just makes it so much more stressful than it has to be they were making assemblies all about how people got like disqualified and they were like don't look at people or also get disqualified and i'm like oh my god <laughs> what do i need to think because when i think i look around um they're like don't make eye contact with anyone or you get disqualified don't scare me like that like i get it mocks are important but it's not worth having a heart attack over and now i'm ready to go so i love you all so much and i hope you all have an amazing day bye Hey guys, get ready with me for school. Um, my outfit today is very boring. It is my matching set that I've worn a couple of times. I was gonna wear a black shirt with these pants, but then it just wasn't looking good. I don't know why I said it like that, but anyways, um, it just didn't look right. So I'm wearing just a normal set because I wanted to Wednesday to be a nice comfy day since I'm going to the mall after school and I'm getting like a bunch of stuff not a bunch of stuff but i'm getting a bunch of stuff done like before i go to the mall we're going to this place and i'm getting a pedicure and I'm getting my eyebrows waxed because i know y'all see these fat things on my face so we're just gonna trim them down a bit but if they actually one of my biggest fears is like them messing up and me having like a bald spot on my eyebrow or like no eyebrow at all so let's just hope that doesn't happen guys for old time's sake we're gonna use my bubble um, I used this last night and I realized, like, how nice it is. It firms your skin, though, so I feel like it's good for, like, anti-aging, which sounds so stupid. But when I put it on and then it dries, my face feels stiff. So, I don't know. Like, it feels like one of those things that is supposed to, like, which I don't really need. But, because, you know, 
my face is ugly. It needs to be more grown. Anyways, I don't really think that's how it works. Though. So I think I'm just glitching. Because also I know they're targeted towards like... Okay, what am I yappy about? It's not anti-aging. Like what? Anyways. Guys, you guys seem to like my little outfit check videos. So I'm going to keep doing them. Because they're fun to record. Except I almost miss my bus like every single time i'm recording them because it takes me a couple tries because i look really goofy in some of them so i'm gonna start like getting up earlier because one i wanted to start making myself breakfast in the morning because i don't eat food like when i have school like i really just don't unless i decide to pack a lunch which is like never but yeah so i want to start like you know eating some food i like this set i feel like the color looks nice on me Ooh. Like, I don't know, something about it, I feel like, where is my brush? I found it, but something about this color, I feel like, just kind of, like, looks good on me, even though it's literally dark gray, but anyways. Guys, I feel like I'm doing literally nothing spring break. Like, everyone's always going on vacations on spring break. I don't think I've ever gone on a vacation spring break. Like, people are always like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, like, Florida. Well, good for you. Guys, yesterday was a bad day, and then it became a good day, so that's good, because I had really bad practice yesterday, but then, like, my day got better, even though it was nighttime, it got better. Also, guys, I hate to inform you, one of my nails did fall off. My pointer finger, I just glued it back on. It fell off at practice, which I'm not surprised. I told you guys, it, and I knew a nail was going to fall off at practice. I went up to, like, tip it over. I We were just, like, warming up in the morning. It wasn't, like, a serious game. And I went like this, and it just caught my finger, and it just, boop. And my nail was still on, but, like, it was, like, hanging, and it hurt. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope spring break the UV's high so I can at least get a little bit tan. Because, yeah. Also, when the pool opens, guys, you guys are not ready. I am literally so excited for the pool. Thing is, is I never know what to talk about on these. Like, I used to know because I was, like, I don't know. I had a life. And now here we are. Guys, I forgot to put on my eye cream today. But it's okay. Because my eye bags aren't that bad today. Normally they are. That's the thing. Like, I see people saying, like, oh, you should edit your videos so, like, they're shorter and that they're more entertaining. Guys, it's too much work. I literally, like, oh, hello. Um... I literally, like, upload my videos right after recording them because otherwise they won't upload because they won't upload when I'm at school because the Wi-Fi sucks. If you're an OG and you guys remember the name of my favorite Sephora lip liner, comment it down, guys, because I just want to see who's an OG. Okay. And then I'm going to leave my hair like this today. I was going to put it up because it looked really weird, but I think it looks fine like this. I mean, low-key, I have enough time. I might use my, um, what's it called? Not Dyson Airwrap, I would. Revlon, just to really quickly, like, fix all these weird crinkles in my hair. Oh my goodness! It's like, what is this, guys? Okay, I'm gonna do it really quick. Okay, I blurred my hair. That really looks like not even better, but peace out. Bye. Get ready with us for the last day in New South. So, we're having breakfast this morning at 9 again. I'm not sure what we're having, but. Have you seen the setup? No. Oh, it's oh, really pretty. Set it up. Okay. Yeah, it's like lemons. Ooh. It's a lemon thing. Oh, it goes with my pancake. Yeah. <laughs> and then after. We finish breakfast, we're having just content time, and then we go home, which is so sad. Last night we went to watch the Ghostbusters movie, and I loved it so much. Such a good movie. Yeah. It was actually, like, really good. I had my expectations, like, really <laughs> low, so then it could be a good movie. And I think they might be making another one. Another like one? the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So today we also met up with Millie and Jazz. It was my first time meeting them, and they were so nice. They're really nice. Um, today we both have to, like, clean our suitcases. They're no. actually so They're messy. actually they're terrible. Like, yeah. my stuff is... It's in the suitcase, but it's <laughs> everywhere in the suitcase. It's also raining again today, mm -hmm. and it's extremely windy. Like, hold on. Okay, now oh, the wind just like yeah, the wind is so good to that. But it was windy. Yeah. I'm just going in with some blush. Blush. I'm only really putting like this much makeup on today because I wanted to like film. Obviously. Yeah. I was going to wear no makeup. Yeah, we have like a lot of content time actually. Our yeah, planes are like what, two o'clock or something? Yeah. I'm just going to set my face really quickly. Isn't that a really good setting spray? Yes, I Literally love it so much. Literally the best. So they just got back with the breakfast, I'm pretty sure. Because mm -hmm. we just like saw them drive in. Well, we have no idea what it is. Now we're all ready for the day. Bye, Bye. guys.
I accidentally got burnt as literal fuck today. When I say accidentally, I really mean completely on purpose. Apparently, there's a whole punching in the face epidemic going on in New York right now. I hate to laugh. All right, one of my close friends actually got punched in the face. But it kind of seems like I left New York at the perfect time. Allie getting punched in the face is the most Hallie thing ever. I think that would happen to her, literally. I'm back to New York tomorrow. And usually after all my trips, I'm pretty excited to go home. I've never been so pissed to leave a place in my entire life. Zero like percent of me wants to go home whatsoever and i honestly would not be going home but i have some meeting on thursday i'm actually getting pissed off talking about this i just do not want to go back but good news i'm allegedly gonna be back soon because i'm pretty sure i'm doing coachella honestly you guys i am pretty fucking out of it right now. i've been drinking mimosas on this deck for like two days straight oh also i had a fucking stroke earlier i went to post a video on here and it said account login expired and i looked up like what could this mean and it said it meant your account was fucking deleted sorry i did not notice my eyebrow and this might be dramatic but my life flashed before my eyes those 10 minutes that i couldn't get into my account i was like, planning out my life in bali or some shit i was like i am just done anna witnessed it i was just like anna i'm having a <laughs> fucking stroke I need to go back to new york and for it to just be summer honestly but i am ill over the fact that i'm Tonight our plan is to just go to that pier right there and get dinner and drinks and hang the fuck out and I am ready I'll keep you guys updated. I'll be back in New York tomorrow back to your regularly scheduled content. Okay. I love you guys Okay, bye hey everyone come get ready with me for school Ignore that it's like pitch black outside. I have no idea why it's so dark. It's literally like 6 55 Normally by now it's like bright so sorry I didn't post yesterday. I didn't go to school yesterday because I was a little bit sick as you can kind of hear in my voice a little bit, but I'm fine today. I don't really have the best day for school today. I have double religion and then I have maths. But today is my sports day and my school, like we do venue sports and oh my gosh, I have laser tag today. And I'm also doing it with my best friend and I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun. And then after today, we legit have four days off because um, Easter's not in the school holidays this year. Okay, I'm going to try and speed through my skincare, but I've been using this serum recently. I think it's from the brand Celimax, Celimax. I don't know what it's called, but it has been making my skin so, like, healthy and hydrated. And, like, my pimples have also been going down as well. And it's also because I've been using the Acne Face Cleanser. And, oh my gosh, I think it's so good all my skincare and my brows off camera so then this video doesn't take so but for my makeup i'm gonna be using the new stuff i got in my sephora and mecca haul and if you haven't watched that go watch it right now and the first thing is the glow recipe hue drops i love how these are like my base and also my primer at the same time okay let's see how well these blend out because i haven't really like used them properly yet Yeah, they're all blended in and they gave me a very slight tint i mean i didn't really put much on but this is how i like it now time for concealer this isn't like a new product but it is like a restock so i'm going to be using a little bit of this normally i use my red beauty under eye bright not to do under my eyes but this is pretty light coverage so i'm just going to use this everywhere okay now it's time for cream bronzer this is the Makeup by Mario Contour Stick, and I have mine in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to apply a very small amount. I'm just going to do, like, two dots of it. I've seen other people do, like, dots of their contour stick, so then they don't have so much pigment on their cheek. Okay, next is blush. I got the new Milk Jelly Blush Sticks. And these are kind of scary to put on, so I really hope, like, I put it on good, because these stain very quickly. Okay, I'm actually going to be safe today, and I'm just going to take it on a brush. I've never done this before. I've always just, like, applied it to my cheek. So I hope this still works the same. And it looks like it's working. This color is so pretty. This is in the shade Chill. I also got the shade Burst. But this one is such a nice, like, pinky color. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with this blush. Time for powder. This isn't new, but I'm using the Twitter Beauty. I'm just gonna do like a very little bit under the eyes and then wherever else I like usually do my powder. Okay, now let's have a powder bronzer. I got the new Charlotte Tilbury. This is freaking huge. And I also got a new brush as well. This is the Makeup by Mario F2. I'm just gonna do a little bit of some powdered bronzing. Okay, I don't have a new powder blush, but this is like gonna be my blush slash highlight. I'm using the same brush. This is just the Dior palette in the shade Rose Gold, I'm pretty sure. I'm just using this pink as like a little blush topper. And lastly is mascara. And this is like my favorite mascara at the moment. It's the Maybelline Falsy Surreal. 
it just transforms my lashes in seconds i go vertically first to cut coat the sides and then i apply horizontally i mean just look at the difference that's before and that's after okay lastly i'm using the rare beauty setting spray because this is like the glowiest setting spray ever and then the summer friday's birthday cake balm well that's all for the get ready with me bye guys